In this lesson, I'm going to show you Nights in White Satin by the Moody Blues. This is a very old song. Uh, relatively simple um, as far as the chords go and stuff. There's nothing too terribly complicated. Um, no riffs or anything like that, so uh, this should be pretty straight ahead. The arrangement, however, is kind of long. There's a whole solo section that you know has some changes to it, so that's why the chart is uh, two plus pages long. So um, let's take a look. Uh, to begin with, we start with an E minor chord, very simple like this, open string on that fingering, and we go to an A chord, I'm sorry, D chord, excuse me, D chord. I'm just sort of, my, my uh, ring finger is sliding back and forth, I'm moving all the other fingers, but the ring finger can stay on the same string. So that makes for an easy transition, you see that. That's one of the things I like. Some people like to uh, play the, um, the D chord like this, but I like to play it with my pinky. It's easier. So my pinky's, pinky's smaller and fits in there better, and it makes transitions like that easier as well. So, um, <clears throat> Okay, so that's, that's the intro. I'm doing the strumming pattern, if you can see. Now, um, the strumming pattern I'm just sort of interpreting from the guitar part and the overall sound of the record. Um, that is always up for interpretation by you. In other words, once you get the vibe of the song, um, you don't have to be locked into these strumming patterns. They're, they're suggestions because we're doing an interpretation of something that was played really on guitar, um, on the ukulele. Um, okay, so, uh, and also the other thing to note in this song is it's in the 6-8 time signature. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 beats per bar, we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the bass meter is 3, it's like a waltz. Um, and the time, sig time signature is 6, 8. So we have 8 counts per bar. Um, I'm sorry, 6 counts per bar, and each one is an eighth note. We're sort of pulsing faster than we do in 4-4 four, four time. So that's what that means. Um, okay, so uh, E minor to the D. That's the intro. And the verse starts out the same way. Then we go to a C chord. Then we go to a G chord. Then we go to an F chord, and then back to an E minor. And that whole thing repeats. All right, so um, two bars, then to a C chord for two bars. Then we do the E back to the D, like the intro. Let's see, um, that's a chorus, then you go back and do a whole nother verse and a whole nother chorus, just the same, you just repeat the whole two sections together. I'll, I'll play through the chorus one more time just to, to review that. So um, uh, when we get to the chorus, that's when we switch to the A chord for two bars, then we go to the C for two bars. Then we do like the intro to the D, repeat it, and then start over again on a verse, verse two. Play the whole thing through, then the whole another chorus through, chorus two. Then we have what I'm calling this break, which is really the setup for the, for the flute solo, uh, or really sort of solos in general, the solo section. So, when you get to the end of the second chorus, 
you're playing, uh, you know. This is the end of the second chorus. And then we start on the solo section. So it's really just that one last figure all on E minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, solos. Okay, so the solos use a lot of the same chords, except uh, uh, we're putting them in a different order. Okay, so I did change the strumming pattern here at the solos because it's just a little bit more driving, so. Like that. We use a lot of the same chords, except they're in a different order. Um, so these first four chords repeat twice. Let me show you that. We start on the E minor, go to the D, down to the C, then the B7, and repeat the whole thing. And then we go on to E minor again, down to a C, do those same two bars again, then we go to an A minor, and a B7, repeat. Then back to the E minor. intro. So that the last part of the bridge is kind of strange. It feels like we want to have one more bar out of that last phrase, but it goes right back to the intro. So don't let that throw you off. I'm going to just play through the whole bridge again. We'll just do it one more time here. So we're going to start with that first, the cycle of four chords at the beginning of the bridge. E, down to the D, to a C, to a B, Seven. Repeat it to the D, B7, back to the E minor, down to a C, do the same thing again, now we're going to the A minor, B7, repeat. So then the verse and the chorus repeat again for verse 3 and chorus 3. And then all we have at the end here is just basically a little tag um, that goes through some of the chorus kind of again. Uh, we start off on this E minor, but the, the rhythm here is... Um, <coughs> this is sort of a strange figure if you're not used to playing this in 6-8. If you're, if you're using the regular strumming pattern to create your rhythm, the way I've outlined it here, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. It's um, sort of, you know, an alternating um, groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's just for two bars of that E minor chord. Um, then, then we go to the just the last few chords of the, the end. We do two bars of that. A. For two bars. Then to the C for two bars, like the end of the course. And then to, back to the E minor, to the D. Just like the chorus.
and end on the E minor. So there you go. That is Knights in White Satin by the Moody Blues. Uh, fairly straight ahead, but in 6-8, some interesting rhythms with the strumming. And uh, not a huge amount of chords, but not just three, that's for sure. There's more than that. So uh, enjoy. <laughs> 